Hi. Um, I thought we could do a little love reading for each sign. So what I'm going to do is pull three cards for each sign, one card from each deck. The Decameron, the, the love, astrology, love, sexual, I don't remember what it's called, and the erotic deck. I'm just going to show you the cards because, as we know, I don't have the book for this one deck, which has different meanings to it. And, um, yeah, some of the meanings are a little bit uh, confusing, especially with the erotic deck um, and or graphic. So it's definitely not for kids. Um, let's just start with Aries. And you can decide what card applies most to you. And this is for, you see the month of December. So this is almost December. <clears throat> Starting with Aries. What do Aries people need to know? And you can watch your rising sign, your moon sign, your sun sign, your Venus sign, anything that you think will bring you more clarity. This is the devil. Usually about temptation and or avoiding temptations. Um, or breaking free of addictions. And the Five of Swords is on the bottom. This is called the Tarot Sexual Magic. The devil, though, just, it means literally sex sometimes, so. I would timestamp these, but it takes a lot of work. <laughs> so, I hope you just enjoy watching Aries people need to know for the month of December. Well, Aries, you got three car four cards, and you wouldn't believe it. The first card that I saw was the devil, again, in a different deck, holding up a large dildo. <laughs> the five of swords in this deck. Two of chalices, just like soulmates. The two of cups. And the seven of wands, which just looks a lot like this. Maybe your back is to something. Maybe you turn your back on someone. Um, what the erotic deck has to tell us. There's too many cards, I'm not going to even look. This is the five of fire, so lots of fives, five, 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 and that does add up to 15, so then that's the devil. This is Saturn and Leo. Menage a trois. Some rough sex. The eight of fires on the bottom.
Mercury and Sagittarius. Okay, moving right along to Taurus. Taurus, this is the Fool. And on the bottom is the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, 69 sort of thing, and then someone's watching. Hmm. Taurus, month of December. Two for Taurus. The Six of Cups, Six of Chalices, and the Ace of Swords. This is the Ace of Swords. And the Six of Cups, Six of Chalices. Nostalgia, looking back to the past. On the bottom is the Magician. Using all your mental faculties, all the tools at your disposal. I am energy, as above, so below. So, could be some sort of manipulator also. Master manipulator is what I just heard. The knave of earth just popped out. Well, Taurus, you are an earth sign, so Messages coming through, maybe overhearing something, maybe hearing something that you shouldn't have heard, um, or listening in, maybe you need some actual advice. The six of air is on the bottom. Like something is larger than life. This is Aquarius, Mercury, and Aquarius. Okay, and Gemini. The King of Fire, King of Wands. an interesting face she's making. Um, and on the bottom is the Hierophant. King of Wands and the Hierophant. Some powerful energy. Hierophant is like the highest in the land. Maybe you're dating someone who's in power. What does Gemini need to know for month of December? The Knight of Chalices. water energy coming through and the nine of pentacles is on the bottom this guy is cutting her hair while she's sleeping couldn't tell you what that's about so <laughs> some of these are just like whatever it means to you
and the erotic duck for Gemini. The world. Saturn. And on the bottom is the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Earth. Looks like she's having some sort of heat stroke. Moving right along to Cancer. Syrians need to know the devil again. Maybe there's some overlap between Cancer and Aries. The Seven of Pentacles is on the bottom. This is usually things taking time, patience, fruits of your labor kind of thing. Or just Writing someone, Seven of Pentacles, thinking things over. This is the Strength card, number 11. Strength and justice are switched in some decks, so. Maybe something that you're doing is requiring some strength. The Wheel of Fortune's on the bottom here. So perfect timing. And the Emperor. I think of the fourth house, and Cancer rules the fourth house, so this is number four. And this is Aries again, so maybe some, again, some overlap with Aries and Cancer energies. Thinking about things, there seems to be like a lot of sitting back and thinking. And again, the Wheel of Fortune in a different deck is on the bottom. This comes up when someone's just perfect to you. From all angles so okay well that's the first quarter of the birth chart or the astrological wheels so I'm gonna end this here and do the rest of the signs a little later so I hope this is enjoyable for you and showed you something um, brought some clarity to you so have a great week and a great month of December bye